guys welcome back to a new vlog today is on tuesday and i woke up and i found out that we didn't have light so instead of just staying in the house being unproductive i decided to go to town um yeah i'm going with my friend i think we'll go to dubois i also have a few deliveries that i need to do you know what i actually need to come up with an, a better delivery system instead of every time someone buys one bag i take it to town i feel like that is not cost effective so yeah i'm going to work on that and yeah that's basically it we'll also go to dubois i don't know if i mentioned that and yeah that's what's up today i didn't put on like a lot of makeup i didn't even do my eyebrows i'm just it's it's an errand kind of a day so yeah i hope everybody is doing well please like the video comment share watch the ads and yeah i'm at my friend's place and she has a balcony guys i've been wanting a balcony for such a long time i'm hoping the other house that i'll go to will have a balcony i'll look for a house that has a balcony I'm not joking, no my guys, them, them know me. Since 06, I've been writing this story. I know the OG, but if you ask them, them know me. I know they blow trees, so you know you need me, know me. Music shows me, just know this and no peace. I hate loyalty, but I'm never lonely. Sexy ladies, come away from me slowly. Guys, I don't know if you can hear me, but we have finished our errand and now we've stopped at this place that I usually see on TikTok. It's called Shawarma Place. I think it's uh, located at RNG. And we want to try the shawarma combo, the one that comes with the soda and some side chips. And then I'm going to give you a review. It's actually quite affordable. The prices are so well thought out. Like a normal shawarma is to 15. And uh, yeah. So I quickly want to do a haul of the things that we bought in Dubois. By the way, my phone is dying. So I need to do this quickly. I mean, I could have waited and done it tomorrow, but I am going to be combat tomorrow. Very early in the morning. So I don't think I'll be able to show you. 
so let me do this quickly but then the, the shawarma place was really really nice i even got um and that's what i'm having i'm quite full honestly the portion is quite filling so i don't think i'll have dinner today but yeah let me show you what i got after saying that you shouldn't um after saying that i would not be buying makeup products in dubois we are back at it again <laughs> but anyway the first thing i got is this concealer palette and it looks like this um hmm. honestly i don't know how this concealer will act but i got it regardless so i'll have to see how it works if it doesn't perform well you guys i'm going to tell you but makeup at the boys by the way i'm always very cautious with it but it's fine actually this this other one belongs to my friend this is how it looks like and i've just uh, realized that it's also a it's also a contouring palette that's how it looks like looks pretty cute and the packaging looks like that so this this is my friend the other one that i showed you first this this is mine looks like that and then i got a pair of earrings um they look like this very sage i love them let me try it focus there you go wow they look so cute i love them i wish uh like a second hole so that i can be pairing them exactly the way they are looking here but yeah these are so beautiful by the way love them and then guys do you remember there's a time i was complaining about finding the right lip gloss guess who went ahead and bought another lip gloss in dubois that i know will not work on my lips but anyway and i also got this uh it's a lip therapy vaseline instantly softens and soothes dry lips it looks like this although hmm, i don't know if that is going to work and then the last thing that we got are these lashes. This belong to my friend, guys. Um, I don't think I'm bold enough to put on lashes that are this large and fluffy. This is totally her kind of vibe. So, yeah, that's basically it. By the way, my flowers are dying. Can you see? I need to just throw them away. Oh my god, they are so beautiful, but it's time to let them go and yeah guys that's basically it i had a vlog that i was supposed to upload today but when i woke up we didn't have lights oh did i show you this glue this is also has by the way if you ever are struggling to put on lashes try this bonding glue and thank me later it was only going for 100 shillings this is the best glue in town well, I, <laughs> but yeah like i was saying i had a vlog that i was supposed to post um yesterday but we didn't have lights so let me see if it will upload and then maybe you guys can watch it tomorrow because i've really missed you i've really missed youtube honestly the next day so i think the last time we talked was yesterday when i was telling you that i wanted to go to Gikomba today guess who was able to go a loud of applause please because let me tell you today i woke up i was actually supposed to go yesterday right that's when we didn't have lights and then i decided instead of like just uh staying in the house being unproductive we went to town we did our errands i was able to like deliver all the bags that i needed to do and then we came back and then i wanted to by the way, yesterday is when i was supposed to go to gigomba but i overslept but today i thank god i was able to go actually i'm not going i'm so happy that i went anyway now um i came back today and i took a few pictures in fact the whole afternoon that's what i have been doing i've been trying to take pictures and honestly i'm not happy with how they're turning out i think the lighting doesn't look that great one thing about me if i can redo something especially if it's something that i'm posting i will redo it because this is what i'm thinking i'm thinking that once you post something it will forever be there so if you can redo it and make it look a bit better then 
do it so now i'm quite frustrated because i've just wasted my whole afternoon all the pictures that i've taken hakuna zenye zinani bamba but anyway so we'll do that tomorrow we'll take um yeah we'll take the pictures again tomorrow Ugh, sometimes content creation is literally so frustrating you guys you can film something and then you've wasted all your time like imagine the whole afternoon that's what i've been doing i, I was trying to take pictures and i actually posted them and then zikatokia vibaya and i had to delete all of them and now i'm feeling like i've just wasted my time but sometimes it's it's like that so what do we do so yeah um then i decided instead of like just chilling i was actually feeling so bad i was like ah okay so my whole day is just wasted let me just chill then i decided ah let me just do the whole of the things that i bought from Geekom. let me know down below if you guys enjoy watching my hauls would you rather just see the bags qua my page ama you prefer when i do the hauls here let me know because I don't want to do something that you guys feel like mna boeka. Comment down below and tell me, do you prefer nikifanya hauls za easy bags zenye na baingi? Ama you'd rather just check them from my thrift page. For those who are new here, I have a thrift page or a thrift business, shameless plug, called Stacy Thrifted Bags and I thrift bags from Gikomba and resell them. So yeah, so for those who are wondering, what is she talking about that's what's up so yeah let me do the haul and then if you see something you like of course you know the drill just go to my page stacy thrifted bugs or even comment here and i'll get back to you let's get started i feel like i've talked too much i've talked too much all right you guys so the first bug that i thrifted and i absolutely love it is this a bag that looks like a dior saddle bag it's black in color of course you know me black and gold is like my weakness it's a bit what was in an here and then this is how the handle looks like let me get further so that you can see this is a pretty nice bag honestly i saw it let me give you a story so when i was looking around i saw a lady holding this bag and then I was like, I was just praying to the gods, Ayachilie. And then she was, she was like conflicted. She didn't know whether to pick it or whether not to pick it. And then I didn't want to look at her. But the quick tip, if you're ever thrifting and then you see something someone else is holding and you like it, do not look at her. I repeat, do not make eye contact because you're confirming that whatever she's holding is nice. So when I saw her, I pretended I didn't know even... I didn't even know what was going on because I wanted her to leave the bag and she did. And I was so happy I picked it. And as you can see, it's a pretty nice bag, honestly. This is how it looks like. Love it. Um, yeah, such a nice bag, honestly. So gorgeous. It's in perfect condition. And yeah, actually, let me show you the inside. You got to evolve. Such a stylish and trendy bag. I love it. Uh, the second bag that I got looks like this. It's just a shoulder bag. These bags are so trendy nowadays. This lighting. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's how it looks like. It just has one compartment. I don't feel like there's any need of me showing you. But yeah, this is the second bag. Oh, this is actually my favorite. I saw it and I liked it so much. Um, this is the third bag. Guys, how beautiful is this bag? It looks so nice. Y'all know I'm in love with this, with such prints so much. I actually have a throw blanket that has a similar zebra print. I feel like zebra print is something that will never go out of style. It's so stylish. Actually, so she move yeah with such a bag and that's what inspired me to pick it and i love it and then it has like a gold zip which is very cute i don't think i'll open like the inside because there's nothing it's just one compartment but yeah this is such a beautiful 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 bag and it looks like that another bag that i thrifted looks like this it's a fake Gucci, of course. I always wonder if it's possible for someone to like thrift 
an original designer bag, you know. And also, honestly, I'm not even a guru when it comes to telling what's designer and what's not. But then there are bags that are actually labeled and they are fake. So, I don't know. I don't know if in Kikomba, like an original, original um, designer bag. But, of course, the fake ones is go all over. Cause tell me why. This is Christian Dioro, guys. But, who's asking? Who's checking? But it's a cute bag. As you can see, and yeah, um, the zip in my Rebecca Kidogo, as you can see, but it's nothing major. You can actually get it changed if you want to. But yeah, I saw it and I felt like it was so cute. I couldn't just leave it. So yeah, that's the other bag. Oh, I've remembered. I love this bag. I love this bag. I thrifted a brown tote bag. You guys, I've told you so many times that brown is such a classic. I just say my trend. It's such, such a classic color. So this is the tote bag that I thrifted. It's leather in color, in good condition. And I love it. I've added some clothes on the inside because I want it to have like some shape. So let me remove the clothes so that... One in a candani. Oh my god, this is so cute. This is something that I would pick for myself, but that's fully stock this time round, okay? This is how it looks like on the inside. It's leather by the way, as you can see. I don't know which brand this is, Everlane. Ever heard of it before? And then it just has one compartment and it's so cute, very stylish. I love it and that's how it looks like it's pretty big it can fit a laptop and a few more essentials like this is a bag you can carry even when you're going for like a staycation of course when you're not carrying a lot of clothes it's very beautiful another tote bag that i thrifted hmm, i love this one so much this looks like this yo this is such good quality this is a tote bag that has good quality kabisa kabisa yani i saw it and i was like bro yeah i'm going home with this this is so beautiful and the color also looks so so nice let me remove again even with this one i had added clothes because i wanted it to have some shape color this one looks so so nice it has like a suede material on the inside see see how this bag is beautiful even on the inside and it's like clean very much intact it looks like me brand new even the two papers i this is so cute i saw it and yeah there's no way i was going to leave this so beautiful i love it so yeah that's how it looks like on the inside on the ins on the outside it's very basic but on the inside, it's where the good things are at. <laughs> very cute. Oh my god. The, this, the suede on the inside was very thoughtful. But they, whoever, styled, whoever styled that bag knew exactly what they were doing. So here is also another bag that I thrifted. I also love this. And I'm so glad that I pushed myself to go. Honestly, I kuna siku inafika nga na feel kuenda. Like, when I imagine how much it's a hassle to go and look for those bags, to go and bargain, ah, matope, the rain, kubisha na nawatu, I mean, it's hectic, but I feel like once you're done with it, it's so rewarding and you feel like you've just done something, you know? So yeah, this is the other bag that I thrifted. It's a Zara bag. I didn't even know until I checked inside. Pretty good. It's also intact. This is a really, really nice um, shoulder bag. That's the Zara tag. As you can see, very clean on the inside. This is how it looks like. Straight up, it looks like this, but it folds up and it becomes a really cute um shoulder bag so nice i love it 
Another bag that I thrifted is this backpack. I don't know why people call them monkey bags. I don't know. It's like monkey bag like anyway. May just know that them as backpacks. And I feel like backpacks are more cute. Monkey bags doesn't make any sense. But anyway, monkey bag. Another bag that I thrifted is a monkey bag. And it looks like this. So nice, so cute. Again, with the gold details, black and gold is such a good combination. Can you all see how like the gold is popping? This is such a cute, cute bag. And then now, what actually blew my mind away was how the inside was looking. Oh my god, the inside looks so, so cute. And I was like, wow. I mean, I don't know how I'm going to show you. But that's how... That's how the inside looks like. Yo, this is so, so cute. Like the blush pink on the inside and then black on the outside. As you can see, it's a pretty clean uh, bag. It's intact. I want it to be Mary Bika and I love it. And then it has so many compartments. As in, this is so cute. that is everything that i was able to thrift um yeah and i think we're just going to wrap this vlog here um, i don't know if i have enough footage if i have then this is the end of the vlog thank you so much for watching please remember to subscribe if you haven't and i will see you on my next vlog thank you so much for watching